In this part of the review, we're asked to list the formulas for these ratios and indicate whether they're liquidity, profitability, or long-term solvency ratios. And uh, so working capital is current assets minus current liabilities. And anything that has to do with the currents has to do with liquidity. So this is a liquidity ratio. Current ratio is current assets divided by current liabilities. So it, too, is a liquidity ratio. The asset turnover is revenue divided by average total assets. And you remember that average total assets is beginning of the year total assets plus end of the year total assets divided by 2. So a simple average of the beginning and ending total assets. Profit margin, oh, and asset turnover is a profitability ratio that shows basically how well you're utilizing your resources to generate revenue or how well you're utilizing your assets to generate revenue. Profit margin is also a profitability ratio, and it's looking at net income divided by net sales, or your net revenue. I should just call it revenue so that we're consistent in our terminology. Net income divided by revenue. In other words, you compare the bottom line of the net income statement with the top line of the income statement and you look at how well you're able to convert revenue or sales into profits, bottom line. The return on assets is also a profitability ratio, and what it is is net income divided by average total assets. We also talked in class about how return on assets is also the profit margin times asset turnover. And the reason is, is if you look at those formulas, profit margin is net income divided by revenue. Asset turnover was revenue divided by average total assets. And as you can see, the revenues cancel out to equal the net income over average total assets. So notice that you can use two ratios to really gain insight into the return that you have on your resources. Debt to equity is a solvency ratio. And debt to equity is looking at total liabilities over total shareholders' equity. And it basically looks at the proportionality of who controls uh, the company and how much risk there is. Earnings per share simply is net income divided by the number of shares outstanding. And so it gives you a marker as to what is the profit per share. And those are the ratios.